When you're working with your Z6, Z62, Z7, and Z72, you may find yourself in a situation where you need to extend the battery life. Whether you're shooting video, taking time lapses, or even taking photos, you may need to extend the battery life of your Z6 or Z6 II. I've got a couple good methods that can help you do that, and I've got one method that's really great for my strictly photo takers who maybe aren't using a tripod and are on the go. As a video creator, I find it preferable to have modular solutions, so I own all of the products that I'm going to mention today so that I can create the perfect rig for every video creation situation that I find myself in. And I, of course, stand on the backs of great video rig creators who work with mirrorless cameras like Gerald Dunn and Caleb Pike. You can passively charge your Z6 using a battery bank or wall charger. Now, this will only give you trickle charging, but it can be really useful for travel and when you don't want to bring that big bulky battery charger with you. When you just have the wall charger or battery bank, you can slowly charge your Z6 while it is powered off. So when I go traveling, I bring my Z6 with one or two batteries, and then I don't need to bring an additional camera battery charger. I just bring the power bank that I'm going to use for my iPad. You can actively power your Z6 or 7 using an MPF battery plate. I like this version from Small Rig because it has two outputs, one for the camera and one for your monitor. If you don't think you're ever going to power a monitor along with your camera, you can use this one that I really like from Blindspot. It's a really simple stripped down MPF battery plate with USB inputs and outputs that's a really helpful tool. It's also a little smaller than this one and lighter. If you're ever going to need dual powering options, if you want to power a monitor or other accessories, then I think this is probably the best option. The most important thing to know with these kinds of cheap battery supplements is you don't want to fry your camera. I have fried my camera before using a USB power solution and a V-mount battery, and the advice I now follow helps protect me from any further problems. So the problem comes when you're trying to power a camera and a monitor and an HDMI cable connecting the camera and monitor all from the same source. So the advice I follow is always make sure to plug in the power cable first and then connect the HDMI cable and power off the camera and monitor before plugging them in. The battery solution I use hinges on two things. The first is these quick release plates that I got from Small Rig. They twist into the bottom and I have different power solutions uh, screwed onto the top of them. Now, if I had to do it all again, I would probably switch and use NATO rails for this because these uh, plates, although they're low profile, it's really annoying to always have to be twisting them around. The other core part of my rig is these six plus inch Arca Swiss plates. I prefer these ones from Benro because they fit onto the Peak Design travel tripod and the Kessler quick release plates. And those are on top of all of my tripods and monopods that I use. The Z6 II is a tad bit more flexible when it comes to external powering options. The simplest way to power your Z6 for a really long time is with a USB-C cable and a USB-C wall adapter. These are very common items. You might already have something that you use to charge your tablet or laptop. And the fact that you can just plug those into your Z6 II and get almost infinite runtime is really convenient, cheap, and very useful. When you plug in a USB-C PD power source to your Z6 II when it has an ENEL15C battery inside it, you will get the little plug icon on the screen and that will let you know that your battery is running for a near infinite amount of time. It still does trickle drain the battery a little bit, but it will get you quite a bit of battery life. I really like this small rig battery bank holder because it's really easy to pull batteries in and out of it and it can fit lots of batteries of different sizes. Nikon makes two battery grips, the NBN10 and NBN-11. The 11 is only compatible with the Mark II devices, whereas the N10 is compatible with all the Pro-Z bodies. These products, of course, extend the battery life, but they also increase the ergonomics of these cameras that already have a really great hand feel. I really like how the hand grip extends down below and gives that extra room for your pinky. If you're a person with larger hands, you might want to leave this battery grip on your camera full time. I personally never let my cameras go to sleep because I do a lot of external recording with Atomos monitors and Atom units. So having battery solutions that last a really long time but are also nice and tidy on the rig is really important to me. And I, on every shoot, use a combination of battery grips and those uh, NPF battery plates 
to power my cameras for long amounts of time. The dual battery grips also offer a feature that is only available with one of them, and that is the ability to hot swap batteries. Everything else that you do will involve turning the battery on and off when you want to plug in a new power source or something like that. But with these, they both have the ability to access one of the batteries and put in a fresh one without having to turn the camera off. I guess if you're using a USB-C PD with the Z6 II, you could, no, you, you could swap the external battery source. So you could plug in a new USB-C power bank without uh, having to turn off the camera. But if that other battery starts to get low, that's it, dog. You're gonna have to swap that out eventually. V-mount batteries are a staple of the video production workflow, and they are very expensive to get invested in initially, but they're absolute workhorses and they do a really good job at their job. A good V-mount plate is a great addition to any rig, but using a dummy one from small rig is not going to be a problem, as most V-mount batteries have a D-tap built right into the side of it. The V-mount battery combined with a well-known wooden camera ENEL15 Demery battery can create a reliable cine-style camera rig. This adapter works for both the Z6 II and the Z6 I and Z7 II and Z7 I. This is one of the only dummy batteries so far that I've found works in the Z6 and Z7 II. Those cameras are a little bit more picky about what kinds of batteries you put in them. This adapter is from Wooden Camera, a very respectable brand, and I would trust this adapter to work for a very long time and not fry your camera. So using 15 millimeter rods and the small rig dummy plate, I'm able to mount my V-mount battery onto the back of my camera. I can also rotate it uh, 180 degrees so that the battery hangs down and it can run for a really, really long time. I'm really not sure whether an NPF 90 battery two ENEL 15 batteries or a V-mount battery would run longest, but I would put my money on the V-mount battery for sure. These things aren't monsters. So as you can see, there are many ways to power your camera and it's reasonable to only do one or two of these. I personally like to have all the options in front of me. That's why I own all of these pieces of gear and then I can choose whatever I want to choose for a given situation. Something I love about the Z6 II and the 24 to 70 2.8 is when you have those two pieces of gear, you can shoot almost any kind of video. And when you add a really long battery to that, you are really set up to be able to shoot any kind of production. This option right here, the USB-C wall plug and USB-C power cable are about $30 if you get a slightly cheaper cable than this one and you can run your Mark II camera for a very, very long time. That's definitely the best budget option when it comes to adding battery life to your Z camera. Now the grips are really expensive, but I love both of them so much and I barely ever take them off my camera. So if you want the nice and tidy solution that also adds great ergonomics, but is very expensive, I recommend one of those battery grips. Once you get them screwed in nicely, they really feel like an extension of your camera. Links to all the products that I mentioned are down below. Thank you for watching this Golden 2 Cam video.